Okay, welcome to the IFBI Virtual Expo and to the KEUSA webinar. Um, we appreciate your attendance today. And uh, this first slide, we wanna just show you a little bit about uh, KEUSA. Uh, we've been in business uh, for over 44 years, uh, based out of Italy, but we are an international company with uh, operations in France, Spain, and three manufacturing facilities in the U.S., uh, California, Chester, New York, and Vermont uh, is our commercial division. Um, we do a balance of commercial and residential exterior shading systems that are sold primarily through our uh, network of authorized dealers throughout the U.S., um, we have a very large uh, capacity for production with the uh, amount of manufacturing space that we have. We hold many worldwide patents on product development, and we uh, pour a lot of money into research and development uh, uh, for products that are engineered and designed uh, specifically through our parent company, VAT, um, based out of Italy. And that leads to our vertical integration of uh, using our own components to develop and design our systems that uh, eventually are sold and installed through the dealer network. So that, that's a little bit about us. So let's dive right into the presentation, please. So next slide. So today we're going to talk about uh, our retractable awning lineup and some of the new innovations that we're going to show you. Um, you see our tagline, Enjoy the Outdoors, um, is all about outdoor living and blending luxury uh, with the shade protection that we offer on our exterior shading systems. The first product that we're going to talk about is the KE Cubica. And, and you can see the setting and beautiful uh, location. Uh, this is what we're after to blend the shading protection to idyllic settings like this and showcase our products to to blend that luxury in with the, this type of external environment so next next slide please so the flat model is the product model that we're going to introduce in 2021 um, you can see the pictures on the left side in the top corner shows a, a very modern architectural design for that front rail and the picture on the bottom left shows the backside frame attached to the structure, which again is a very modern aesthetic. On the pictures on the right, you can see a, a capture that that shot in the bottom right hand corner and up above uh, a different picture with the uh, lights that are applied to the system. So this product features um, standard um, belt arms with pre-led integrated light strips. And that's going to be standard on the product, um, leading to this modern design aesthetics that people are after. Uh, you can see by the picture on the top right corner that's got a very low side profile so it can fit into a tight space. And the option with this product is the Aki arms that we're going to discuss in more detail. So let's get into some more of the details of this product. The orientation of this design is a horizontal cassette, meaning that it protrudes from the wall further out than the actual side profile height. As I mentioned, the height of that is very minimal at 5.9 inches on that wall installation picture that you see, and it protrudes about 10.7 inches. If it's softened mounted, you get a little more um, extension of that frame because of the uh, the bracket set up with that. So the size range of this, uh, as you can see in the bottom left-hand corner, is 7, 4 to 23 feet wide, um, with a lot of different projections available, up to the 11, 9 is the largest projection, utilizing the uh, pre-led uh, belt arms for this system. The operation is with the Sophie motors, um, which we sell primarily into most of our configurations. 680 RTS is a non-override uh, remote control uh, motor as a default. Once we start production for this product in 2021, we will use different size 
Sanofi RTS motors that are appropriate to the system. Wind rating is a class two, and the colors for this product will be white, gray, or a combination of those colors. Um, there are other colors available in, in Europe and Italy uh, that can be special ordered, but lead times on special orders would be in the anywhere from six to 10 weeks, depending on the time of year and, and orders in house for Italy. Uh, the shoulder design is similar to some of our other uh, cassette products that we'll compare it to in, a, in another slide. But moving on to the Aki arm um, option for this product, this is a new arm that we showcased at the convention uh, in Orlando last year with the IFEI. And as you can see, it's a very unique design, very clean, and it's minimal without any screws that are showing on the product. It's got high performance transmission and some of the technical features uh, get into the insulating characteristics of the prop product with high dielectric strength, which means that the solid materials will not break down easily. Uh, creep resistance is somewhat similar to that in terms of the product is resistant to uh, deformation from mechanical stress, heat, and structural load. So those are some of the uh, advantages of this type of arm in terms of design and uh, having a better uh, uh, arm that's, than what's been traditional in the market. And with this type of shape, which is kind of evolved from a dog's legs type of look, and you get um, less preload force in order for this arm to extend out with the motor. So it's gonna put less stress on the motor to operate and the uh, on the bottom left, you'll also see some of the specs for the lights that are integrated into this specific arm. So this diagram shows a comparison between the Aki and the belt arm and explains this advantage of what I've described in the previous slide, showing that the tension is almost linear. So the Aki arm will provide constant tension at almost any point on the extension of that arm um, as it projects out. Uh, whereas traditional arms typically have to have the arm all the way out before it reaches maximum tension. So this uh, Aki arm has that advantage in terms of that design. Pre-led lights that we discussed have the LED strips that are integrated into a channel in the arm. And we, Sophia is, is releasing to us a new controller that will be available for 2021 that will allow us to be able to dim these, these light strips. Currently, the setup is with the uh, transformer that you see in the bottom right-hand corner that is a hardwire application for an on and off wall switch that has to be hardwired, like I said. The Sophia controller will um, allow the remote con transmitter, excuse me, to operate the system and to be able to dim the lights. So there's a big, big advantage in terms of being able to be compatible with the other selfie components. These uh, belt arms with these light strips will be available on the Bell, Bella Plus product, Domina, and Elite Plus Onyx, as well as the Cubica flat system that I have just presented. Getting back to the Cubica um, flat system and the color combinations, we're going to have three colors available, white, charcoal, and gray. And then as you see, we can do a combination of those colors. And the idea behind this design uh, was to have the back side of the frame that is attached to the structure, whether it's a commercial location or a residence, to potentially match the structure, whereas the front section can be more compatible with the fabric cover that might be of a different color from the actual frame and to give you some different design options in order to uh, create a, a more interesting and unique um, aesthetic for the end user. Uh, I, like I mentioned before, there are other colors available in, in Italy that would be uh, on special order, but these will be the colors that will be stocked in the U.S. and manufactured here in 2021. Okay, moving on to some other systems that we sell, and we also presented this product at the uh, previous convention and the KE Dealer Academy, 
is our one of our tension shade systems. This is one of three. Some of you that are current dealers might be familiar with our pinnacle system. Um, this product is similar to the pinnacle, um, but utilizes gas piston technology to tension the fabric. Uh, the product, as far as fabric usage, can only use solution dyed acrylic, which might be Sombrella, Paratempetest, or Sattler, uh, as a fabric uh, specification for the product. The pictures on the left side show you the space wall that is uh, installed into an open area where there is no existing pergola or substructure and would be mounted to the wall and have the front post out front. Um, the picture on the right is the space uh, model and this model would be top mounted to an existing structure. So that picture that you see is not our structure um, but an existing pergola and the picture on the far right shows you the uh, configuration of the space that would be top mounted onto that particular structure. The uh, brackets to support the guide rails that would then support the cassette head box um, uh, are the pictures on the bottom that show a vertical adjustable bracket that is most common or if you need side to side adjustment, um, that's the other bracket option that you have. On the vertical adjustable bracket, there's also a vertical extrusion in order to raise the height of the product if that is necessary. So some of the notes on this uh, product, the space, space wall configuration um, can be a five foot minimum up to 23 feet wide. Uh, which allows for a much larger amount of space that can be covered with this unit versus the pinnacle system that we've sold for many, many years. That's a, a minimum of, um, excuse me, a maximum of 16 feet. So on a top mount application, you can actually go 23 foot as well in projection. If it's a space wall with the front post, the projection is limited to 18 feet. One of the most interesting um, features of this product is that you can adjust the guide rails in from the end of the system up to 20 inches, one foot, eight inches, as well as the post. So that allows uh, on a top mount application to possibly match the attachment of the guide rails to where the beam is on the structure. Or in the case of the space wall where you have post, um, they can be maneuvered to um, not just the end, but in again, 20 inches to put the post where it might be a best um, uh, setting for the end user. The projections measured from the top of the set to the bottom of the side rails, and the width is measured from the set end to the end cap. This is a motorized system only, uh, class one wind, wind rating, uh, we, start, we started out with two colors on this system, white and charcoal. If as we progress, in which we've done very well with this system and sold quite a few projects in 2020, uh, we'll potentially add more colors as demand uh, calls for. This product, uh, like the Pinnacle, also potentially would have windbreaker bars, uh, which are cross roller supports uh, for the fabric. Uh, which might be necessary on the larger projections. So again, the advantages we mentioned are the size range here. Uh, the gas pistons allow for better fabric tensioning and uh, create less noise during operation. You can also inset the post like we said before. You can also add strip lights to this product. And one of the new innovations that we've come out with on this is the new front post profile for the space wall product that allows for the field adjustment uh, on this post that is similar to the Genius A100 post profile used on that product on our Genius waterproof structures. So there's some, some compatibility of uh, profiles that are used between these systems. The bottom right hand corner shows you a, a nice picture of how that system is top mounted onto an existing structure. Uh, here again are the dimensions uh, for a two guide rail system. 
uh, on the space. So, uh, it's 20 by 13, and if you need three guide rails uh, after that size, up to the maximum of 23 by 23, and then shows you the windbreaker uh, bars that are necessary to support that. On the right-hand side, shows you how many guide rails would be necessary for the space wall application. The pictures on the bottom show the dimensions of the product. So fairly compact, the bottom left shows you the space uh, top-mounted application at 8.1 inches on the height of that cassette. And the picture on the right shows you the um, configuration of the dimensions with the space wall uh, with post added. Okay, let's move on to our one of our cassette systems, uh, another one of our cassette systems, I should say, as we've already shown the Cubic to Flat product that's to be introduced. Uh, this is another folding arm system in a cassette box called the Bella Plus that we introduced about four years ago. And I've sold many, many of these systems. It's a, a heavy duty application uh, that has many different types of configurations that I'm going to show you. Uh, the line drawings show you that it's a fairly compact system, about eight inches high on the side profile on a wall attached system. Um, this system is very unique in the design of um, in, incorporating a rectangular mounting bar inside the cassette on the bottom to attach into a traditional wall bracket. Most cassette products would hang on a wall bracket, whereas this one actually has the mounting bar that would be attached to a wall bracket. So there's um, an advantage in terms of being able to place the brackets where you need to. Um, so that's a very interesting design and uh, somewhat unique in the industry. You can see the bottom picture on the left shows you uh, the attachment of the end bracket, the support for the, um, the cassette profile as well as the shoulder attachment, um, all attaching onto that mounting bar in the bottom, which is 50 by 30 millimeters. So it lays a little bit flatter in order to reduce the height of that side profile. The other pictures show you a roof mounted application with uh, a backside profile that's optional. If you're on a wall mount, you wouldn't necessarily have to have that profile, but on a roof mount, obviously you'd want to cover that up. And then the picture on the bottom right shows a drop balance application with that product. Next slide, please. So this shows you the multiple configurations that are available with this product. Uh, somewhat of a transformer in that we can do different types of front rails to modify the the, uh, the look and features of the product. The Bella Plus Semi Cassette uses a smaller front rail that could use a traditional balance application into it or without. Um, it eliminates the bottom profile, so if you're directly underneath the awning, you have a little bit of exposure of the arms, but the roller tube is still encapsulated in the internal tray that would hide and support the fabric roller. The bottom left picture shows that semi cassette with a different front rail that allows for a um, manually operated drop balance. Pictures on the right on the top show the Bella Plus with a full cassette that uses a larger front rail design that curves around toward the bottom of, of the product and utilizes a bottom plate to fully enclose the system and make a very clean look in terms of uh, uh, the configuration when it's retracted. The bottom right hand sh shot shows you another front rail style for the full cassette that again has a drop balance application, <clears throat> excuse me, um, that is manually operated. At some point, we're waiting for battery operated motors to allow for drop balance uh, usage uh, with the motorized uh, SAFI uh, compatibility. Size range of the product is up to 26 feet. Uh, the projections available are up to 14.3, so um, a large selection of projections available 
the larger three projections, 11, 9, 13, 5, and 14, 3, will utilize the heavy duty arms that are also used on our Triumph system uh, with forged components. So very, very uh, strong arms that are utilized on this product. And again, the belt arms with light strips are available for this product. Okay, next slide. Um, this is the third cassette in our lineup of folding arm uh, retractable awnings with the uh, cassette box. This is a slimmer line cassette called the Domina and a very modern design again, as you can see in that picture in the top left and the middle picture showing it retracted. Um, very uh, small design on the side profile, as you can see by the drawings inserted in the middle there. This product attaches on each end um, via this standard eight inch bracket that the um, cassette box would hang on to, or if that is not sufficient, we can provide an um, optional bracket and an upcharge for a 32 inch wide bracket to attach the unit to. You can see that same bracket uh, can also be applied onto a roof on the bottom right hand picture, showing a very clean design and eliminating the taller roof brackets normally associated with folding arm uh, on applications. What else is unique on this product is the pitch rotation of the cassette is not on the arm shoulder, which is traditional on most folding arm systems. The pitch rotation is the actual full cassette will rotate uh, downward um, whether it's soffit mounted or wall mounted or roof mounted uh, to reach the desired pitch. And that's done on the end cap uh, that you see in the, the pictures uh, of the drawings that are provided here. The size range of this product is somewhat limited because of the shoulder design. So it's up to 20 foot wide with projections available up to 11.9. The last projection is limited to a width of 16 feet because of that shoulder design that I've mentioned. So it's engineered to hold uh, load, that load up to 16 feet. After that, uh, the maximum projection available uh, up to a 20 foot width is the 10 tooth projection. Okay, next slide, please. All right, let's mention some of the other Retractable awning systems, those, those of you that are dealers uh, are probably very familiar with these products. Those of you that are considering uh, our product line, we have uh, multiple uh, units available for open roller systems that do not have a cassette, uh, but would have an optional hood to go over the top of the system. Our most common system that we sell is the Elite Plus up to a, a maximum width of 46 feet and a maximum projection of 13.6. Um, this awning can be um, configured on larger applications, lar larger widths with uh, splice frames and a separate cover that would be shipped or set up uh, as a split roll app application or if feasible into one large unit. Um, most units are typically below 26 foot and so it can be shipped in one piece without any problems with the freight carriers. And also has the option of a cross arm setting on narrow widths where you want to achieve a larger projection. A normal awning has to have the arms fold back and have space between the arms. Uh, the cross arm allows for one arm to fold under the other one to have a larger projection available on a narrow width. So that's the only on, a, only on a model that we can achieve that with. The Regal is a lighter weight system um, that's up to 23 foot wide with limited projection range up to 11.2 and only comes in sand and white. The Elite Plus comes in multiple colors, including black, which we introduced last year. So uh, that's our most versatile system. The Regal is a little bit less money though and provides a price point that's very, very competitive in the market uh, with even some of the likes of Sunsetter and other lower cost systems that are out there. <clears throat> Excuse me. The Triumph system is a big boy. Uh, that's available up to 30 feet wide 
with the large projections available up to 1511. So very heavy duty system. Everything was larger on this, the roller tube, the shoulder, the, um, the square bar. Um, it weighs about 24 pounds a foot. So you have to have uh, really good integrity on the structure that you're attaching into to support something uh, that might weigh four to 500 pounds on a larger system. So you can see some of the pictures that we've uh, put into this slide that shows these different models. And there's more information available online and in, in our uh, printed uh, cell sheets and catalog to provide to you. Let's talk about other tension shade systems. Uh, sorry, go back, please. The, the Pinnacle One is the system that I mentioned prior to uh, discussing the space product that I presented before. And this product is available as a top mount system called the Pinnacle Two or as a post structure called the Pinnacle One. And you can see the pictures on the right hand side. And this uh, also is mounted in the same fashion that the space product is mounted with the foot brackets that I showed previously. This uses spring cord technology to tension the fabric versus gas pistons that are used on the space product. This product can utilize uh, solution dyed acrylic fabrics as well as screen mesh material. So it has a little more versatility in that regard, but it is a little bit more limited on the width of 16 foot and the projection of 16 foot maximum. But uh, modules uh, can be can share a common center rail to achieve a wider width of three modules up to a maximum width of 48 feet. Okay, drop our window awnings. They've been around for many years in the industry. We have two models, the Topaz, which is a semi-cassette product that has a larger front rail that will, when it's retracted, will close the fabric up into the semi-cassette housing and hide the material to give it better protection when not in usage. The Onyx is an open roller system that is more traditional with the optional hood cover and these arms are spring loaded to drop the uh, arms up to a maximum projection or pitch range, I should say, of 160 degrees. So uh, a different product uh, versus using a vertical screen, but sometimes has the advantage of allowing more light to come into the inside of the house um, and give a more traditional awning look versus a, a vertical screen type of application. Okay, next product, next slide, please. All right, let's uh, go over a little bit of the options and accessories for our product. As I mentioned, Sophie is our primary uh, motor components that we use. Uh, they have optional wind sensors, either motion type or the Whirling Bird uh, Eolus. Uh, wind sensor that's been available for many years. There's also a sun and wind sensor, a rain and sun sensor, a MyLink my Wi-Fi interface that allows for control of the awnings uh, via the phone, your mobile phone that is. Uh, dimmable lighting, they, they have a separate package versus our pre-led light arms that we've discussed that attaches to the outside of the arm and is dimmable and that's a package that's been on the market for many years uh, so a different uh, aesthetic than our uh, integrated light strips um, but nonetheless are, are available there's also a universal rts interface for home automation uh, applications and that's been around for a long time too ke also supplies a proprietary motor called the moon which is a lower cost uh, alternative. And there's information in our catalogs about that option to consider for our awnings and screens. Uh, fabrics, um, uh, a few of on um, the solution dyed acrylics that we mentioned, there's some Rolla, Paratempetes, Sattler, screen fabrics um, that are utilized potentially on the Pinnacle system or other products or screen mesh fabrics like Textiline, Mermet, 
Ferrari solstice, uh, et cetera, et cetera. There are many, many different fabrics out there. We do recovers uh, with those type of fabrics. Uh, we also can do drop balances onto some of our awning applications that we discussed. And then the last option shown here is uh, a telescopic pole support that's available on specific models like the, uh, the Elite Plus, for example. As a company, we, we provide a lot of support and there's a lot of experience. Uh, I myself have been in the industry for almost 40 years. We are our engineer, <clears throat> excuse me, in-house has been in the industry for 15 years plus. Uh, uh, many people in Europe have been, been in the industry. Uh, like we said, the company's been around 44 years. So same is true of our commercial division in Vermont. The, uh, so there's in-house engineering support at these different locations. With the guys on the ladder, we can support via our engineering technical services department or from the factory, or we will do FaceTime. When you're out there on the ladder and it's 3.30 in the afternoon, obviously you wanna get the job completed and the project done and paid. And so we're there to support you on whatever that takes. Uh, we have showrooms in, in all of our locations to showcase our different product models that are available for our dealers to visit. Our regional sales team is um, our executive vice president, Mark Wilhelm of Sales and Marketing. Uh, Andrea Bodalusi is our executive VP of Operations. My name is Robert Bont again. I'm the regional sales manager for the west half of the U.S. based out of Riverside, California. Scott Lentz is in our uh, East Coast location out of New York, and T Timothy P. and Trantonio is located in uh, Riverside, California. And I forgot to mention uh, our marketing director, uh, Bob Aguilione here. Our design of our product, again, as I mentioned in the first slide, comes from our parent company, The Bat Group, which does component production in Italy for our product and which leads to the patent designs that we hold. They do a lot of research and development, uh, pour a lot of money into that. They also have the KE Italy facility, which does ready-made systems with those components and has a network of dealers as well as uh, direct sales in the Venezia region of Italy. There's a lot of specification out there in the market for our products, uh, with BIM objects, CAD, um, we have that internal support to help you with project management. Um, so don't hesitate to uh, work with us, whether it be via the architect uh, or the design specifier or you as the dealer to uh, work with us on developing a project and coming up with the right solutions. Um, we hold a lot of industry standards on certifications in Europe uh, as well as professional memberships here in the US, US and Europe. And again, uh, we offer the complete package from component design to system installation. So that's what our vertical integration is all about. A lot of this you can see on our website, keoutdoordesign.us. It's all about outdoor living. And so we supply the tools to help you sell that, whether it's product reference books, um, sell sheets, uh, uh, model brochures, uh, order forms, anything that you need to, to show your end user warranties, uh, it's all available online to the uh, dealer through our login credentials that we provide you when you are one of our authorized dealers. Let's talk about performance standards. <clears throat> You can see in the slide that pricing is number nine on the slide. So it's not just about buying a low cost product out there. You have to look at all the performance standards that that vendor will supply you, being us. And, so, and it's about satisfying you as the dealer, as well as your, your customer, the end user. And it has to be mutually beneficial for each party. And therefore you have to have the professionalism to understand what you your experiences in the market, but we treat every dealer, whether they have a lot of experience or not, with respect and dignity, because no matter what the product is, and no matter what the project is, uh, it's never too small or too big. It's all about doing the right thing for every project that's out there. 
You have to have sensible and logical procedures that lead to that satisfaction. And therefore we offer online ordering formats, email, fax, we'll express customer service options to reduce lead times when necessary. And we have the right people in place that are informative and they care about what they do and they know what they're doing. They have the experience and they've been trained whether whatever department it may be, sales, marketing, customer service, production, shipping. And the products we offer are sold in 76 countries. So we have to have world-class design and provide the engineering for any type of uh, setting to offer the sun protection that's needed and to extend outdoor living, which is what this is all about, as well as image enhancement. Production, uh, we have state-of-the-art equipment for welding uh, fabric or glue bonding acrylics or cutting fabrics, uh, no matter what, may, what it may be, even traditional double needle sewing, we have it all to provide the, the type of product that's uh, made with specific specifications uh, down to the 16th of an inch if necessary sometimes. The packaging is uh, environmentally friendly configurations and we use um, very good freight carriers that sometimes uh, do have issues with handling and performance of getting the product there because this is not an easy product to deliver, especially on long lengths. But we are continuing to invest into new packaging configurations and solutions to improve that. And that's that's looked at um, every single week to figure out what we can do better. Pricing is very competitive, even though it's not the biggest uh, priority. Uh, obviously, when you sell a very good system, you have great warranties, you need to have um, a price that's that correlates to make sure we make enough money and you make enough money. So it's not about selling the cheapest thing, but nonetheless, uh, we do give incentives on volume for price discounts and we do quarterly or monthly promotions sometimes to, to add to that pricing uh, that you might be advertising and trying to sell into the market. And the practicalities, the last uh, item there is all about making sure at the end of the day and that uh, the installation has gone well, the product is performing well, your customer is satisfied, but if there is an issue, we, the service capability is available to support you in, in whatever is necessary. So again, um, I showed this to, because I think, again, it's all about providing the entire package. So thank you for listening today and we appreciate your support of KEUSA. And if you're not currently working with us, we invite you to do so and look forward to that. Thank you again.